everybody it's your girl Lala in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a logo using PixArt and it's very easy um all you just you know just look to it and just get the idea if you want to start a graphic design business using PixArt now I use PixArt for my logos sometimes like in the beginning of my graphic design business journey I used it a few times before I transferred to go to the computer, like use a computer and stuff like that. So if you didn't get a chance to subscribe, make please, please subscribe, like my channel, comment. I really appreciate for everybody who just, you know, watching it and stuff. And I want to reach to do 1K. So if you just, just please, just, okay. Okay, if you're interested, stay tuned. So the first step is to click on the transparent background and you click the text you see the the box icon and it says text and you can type on something you want to type on so I'm going to show you on three logo samples so you get the idea but just don't take my idea okay now the pro is that it is free but then you got to pay like I think it was like around I don't know. I might have to look it again. But it's very, uh, it's for beginners too. If you want to know how to make a logo by yourself instead of buying like $20, $35 or whatever. Or you can just make your own logos for free. If you start a business or you just want to, you know, play with it, you know, in case you're getting bored. <laughs> but the con is that. I think it is the pictures. You have to be careful with it because you don't want to get in trouble if you use like PNG file and wish it be like commercial or per so just let's just say like um Nike Nike had a logo, right? And you just remade it and then next you know they will find out um you just took their logo and it will sue you if you get if you get what i mean so i'm just gonna i'm trying to save y'all okay now i click and i'll go to my fonts now i can't i can't show you all the pay version because i didn't pay it so i'm just gonna use on the fonts that i download at uh, on the font so i'm gonna just you know just play a little around with it and I don't know why I adjust it. And I'm going to use Nature Beauty. I think it's really cute. So I'm going to put Angel. And I'll go to Gradient. Now I'm going to choose the color of Light Blue. Uh, light blue. And White. I think that's really cute for that. So I'm gonna go to stroke and I'm just gonna, you know, just give a little dazzle to it. And I'm just gonna adjust it to see what, what it looks like, you know, see how it looks. And then you go click the text again and I'm gonna put cosmetics. Now here's the key to this. I'm going to go do like how you use for PixArt. You can use on anything you can use on flyers, business cards, logo. I've seen people who start a business and use PixArt as they, you know, as like their secret. If they don't have like a computer or, you know, have Photoshop and stuff like that. Now, me personally, when I start my graphic design journey, my graphic design business art. I started with PixArt on my phone because I don't have no computer. And the last time I had, I had one client and she don't like the um, logo. So I was like really discouraged. Now, a year later, I get more progress to it. Now I'm going to go to shadow. And I made a few mistakes because of the um, color so I change it again so I'm gonna go to shadow I'm gonna use the color white because I want to make it look like you know like a neon 
shadowy look. Shadowy. <laughs> I say shadowy. And get a little oomph to it. And go to horizontal and vertical. So I'm just gonna adjust it. Hot, like let no. Go to opacity. Go to blur. So I get that airy neon flowy look. Next, I'm gonna do cosmetics. I'm gonna just change the font, and I'm gonna use. Cause um, I'm gonna use the Kiana regular or Queen of Clubs. I think they w this will be better. Leave the comment down below if you want a request on which on graphic needs that I could do. You know how to show you how to do it. Now I have few, I have few videos. Like the DIY logo design on how to use on the other app I use them for my logos too. And my IG story highlights and YouTube. And I'm going to make a update. I'm just going to start making more graphic design videos, edited videos, and lots more. So stay tuned for that. Next, I'm going to... I already done with the, um, the stroke and, the, you know, all that good stuff. Next, you go, if you want to add an image to it, that's up to you. You can use any um, sticker you want. You can use on PNG. You can use, a, use their sticker. Now I'm going to use the, and now I'm going to just find something that really like had a little pop to it. <laughs> Among Us. And now I'm going to choose, I think I'm going to choose the wings, but I don't think it would be like, you know, that's just me. Sometimes that I like something that really not, it really fits. But sometimes when I just look at the pictures or the text or something like, like something like that, I'll just have to change it. So I think this is not it. So I'm just going to replace the, the the wings and change it to halo I think that's really pretty so I can go I could put that um put the top to the angel so I'm gonna use the blue halo see that now that looks cute I really like I really like this one I think this was like the best, I think it was the best logo I ever made. So, kudos to me. <laughs> now, if you want to do extra, go right ahead. That's up to you. Um, right? I'm just going to, like, you know, just add a little extra. So, I'm going to go to sparkles. I don't think that. Or glitter. You know, to make it look like. Like a angelically Y2K type of look. You get, you get what I'm saying. So I'm just going to go to fonts with glitter or lip lipstick. But I think the halo is look way better than just adding more few things. If you get what I'm saying. You just don't want the logo to be more extra but just be more simplicity. They'll be more simple and, you know, adding more images, uh, images or adding more like shadows or too much color. That's just like it's really like downgrade. So you have to upgrade and you just try to find what's something you like when it comes to your logo. You want you want to have the logo to be more outstanding. I don't even even you don't. You know, don't start a business. You can just add it as your your YouTube photo. You know, to make to see people. You know, like wow, your logo is like so amazing. I, I might subscribe. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go to lens flare now. I think this one I made a huge mistake with this because when when I just used the um use that, it turns to like yellow. It looks like really. 
very realistic. But if you just go, if you save it, and you add to the background, it was turned yellow. So I'm going to click the check button. And you finish, boom. It's so easy. Like, really, really easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, honey. It was so easy. You don't understand. Now, yeah, this is the one I just like. I just like, oh, my God. Like, what I just do? Uh, I don't know why I just choose that lens flare. Like, but, you know, you get the example for, for it. You know, now I'm going to show you on the the backgrounds. I'm going to choose, like, different um, color background. You see how it looks with, with, no, with or without a, a background. So I'm going to choose the blue color. And this is going to take a lot of time because my phone is slow. And you go to add photo. And this is how it looks. Now I really don't like how the, how the, the flare looks. I mean, what y'all think? Do I have to, next time I just do that, I might have to replace it again. But it's okay, you know, that's that's my samples. If you you know you get get the details of it. You know, I just want to be more detailed to see what people are, you know, trying to see. Now I'm a visual, I am a visual learner and I can see and then just learn like real quick just like that. So I'm gonna do the on the black background. As you can see, it looks look real pretty with a back uh black background. Now, like, I get so annoyed with that yellow flare. Like, I don't understand. I could have removed that, but it's okay. Now, I'm going to the second one. Now, I'm not going to go to this voiceover, so you want to skip it and just, just like, look at it, if you will. So, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to say, like, I'm going to try this one more time. All you got to do is just go to transparent background. You can type with any text that you like. Um, like for example, I'm gonna type golden. Go to check button, boom. Adjust it if you're like liking. Sorry. And uh, you can choose any font you want. And I'm gonna just change it. Or you can just go to color if you don't want to use the solid color. You can go to texture. Now I choose the gold background to make it look, you know, more, have more depth to it. And then I go to stroke. And I'm going to choose the orange or like dark yellow, dark orange to make it like it's like the golden, golden. Next thing is that... You just go to shadow. I think it's shadow. I can't. See. Oh, just go to color. Now I did make a few mistakes too. There you go. Go to stroke. You don't have to use the stroke if you want to. I just like, you know, I like to make it look more. I want to look it more like. You can have, you can use a solid color, but you know you can use the stroke to make it look have more, you like more, just more dazzle to it. If you know what I'm saying. And then I go to shadow. I'm just gonna adjust it, and then just go to just change it. Make sure it has like. Make sure they have. The shadows, the shadows, the shadows. But you don't have to use a shadow if you don't want to. That's up to you. And, you know, I like the shadow because I want to make it look more, make it, I keep saying, it, like, make it more this and that. But that's how I really am because I like to make make like my graphic design to be more like a little bit perfect but it's not perfect now i don't understand why it looked like that so i don't like this font because 
the G it's like it's missing the on um, the background all you can see is the shadow so I'm gonna change the font and then I'm gonna choose the the go on uh, Queen of Clubs and then I will go to text again Then I'm going to put couture. Now, I'm going to do something different instead of just like going vertical and stuff like that. I'm just going to turn around and you get what I'm, you get, you know what I'm what I'm saying. So I'm going to text, um, type couture. I said text, uh, culture. And then I'm just going to. I have a hard time just typing it so badly, but thanks to the autofill or uh, autocorrect correction session, I get the job done. So I'm just gonna crop it out, just adjust it, and then just go to the like, rotating and. I'm just going to change the color, the font, and all the good stuff. So I'm not going to go over this voiceover. Now, you want to just skip to it. And that's that's okay. You don't have to watch or you don't have to listen to what I said. If you do, it will help you. Please give a thumbs up or just comment what's which, which something I need to work on. And that's fine. Tough criticism. I can deal with that. Well, sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will continue. I will gonna um, post on graphic design videos, editing, um, editing videos, fun packs. I think I might just do a um, go back to Nashua here again. I really miss it so much. So that's all for now, you guys. I will see you soon. Bye.
people act. People act. People act. People act. People act.